Hello everyone, so now we are going to do uh, the shield area and uh, we are going to do uh, alpha scale, uh, alpha surface noise on it so that uh, we will be able to learn more about using our own alphas. All right? So uh, before we begin, make sure you have the morph, store morph target already done on the handle area. Browse to your library. Uh, I've given you a folder that says uh, import textures so you can go there to look for any textures i have my own set of library of textures and then you can also feel free to download some good textures on the internet find those with high resolution find those with uh, that is best to be towable towable so uh, you can tow on any axis you can repeat the textures throughout any resolution so those are the towable ones so anyway so this one could be one of the towable ones uh, i've selected this i apply it you can select the zoom button you can zoom in more and then i uh, make use of the alpha skill and the strength to adjust it to the right parameters and then you apply the mesh all right so uh, let me get started we selected our handle i'll go to the back side click on noise bottom left corner click on alpha so i'm gonna browse to my uh, my folder here so uh, the, under the folders that I give to you you will see this called import other textures so this will have a list of different textures there's some decals there's some mesh there's some herringbone which is like fabrics um, so maybe I'll just use uh, one of these that looks like a fabric for now and uh, we apply that so see how that goes so we don't see anything so same thing don't be panicked um, it's very normal. So set basic noise to zero first. That's the annoying one. Color blend, another annoying one. Zero, zero. Strength up. Alpha scale depends. Don't know up or down, but for now we'll just keep the strength up to help us visualize this. So once the strength is up, we can see. Oh, um, sorry, I didn't frame it correctly. So what do I do? Press frame again. Bam, got the. Scale back. So if you can't zoom properly or you want to recenter, you can feel free to do that. Frame recenter, you can help you orient it back to how it was. Um, because I'm projecting it through this direction, you see. So all the stretching will be on the sides. So if I rotate to the side, stretching. Very normal. Very normal. So and as I mentioned before, if you deal with UV, um, it will be much better if your object has UV. So don't worry about that for now. Talk about UV on another video. And then uh, for now, I'll have the herringbone textures being applied like this. I can't say uh, it's a very good application, but uh, it is an application. Maybe the the handle, you might imagine the knights are using the handle. They want some cloth to it on it. So maybe it'll be a bit more comfortable to use. Okay, I'm just uh, giving myself some justification for this. And uh, anyway, uh, I'll bring the alpha scale a little bit higher, so I think uh, yeah, this looks a little bit more realistic, so to say at least. So yeah, if I'm happy with this, my morph target is already up. I can apply this, and uh, obviously the texture is not very high. So what are you gonna do if your your texture is not high and uh, you're a bit annoyed? Okay, so we can go back. So we are, we backtrack a bit, eh? sorry about that, but it's also good. It's also good for you to backtrack and understand how to uprest something when you are already on the second stage. So how do you do that? Delete the morph target that we done before. We need to redynamesh this. So we need to delete that, bring up the resolution. So maybe I want a 1300 resolution instead. Redynamesh if I my saw my points change, so that is good. If it's not changed, feel free to do a bit of smooth, smooth, smooth. And then you can bring out resolution again and then you read unmesh. Always look for the point change here. Be alert, know what you are doing to your model. So that's good. I I am happy with this. Our points are good. Storm off target again. Go back to my surface noise. This preview button on and off. And then we can apply this again. Bam. Apply the mesh. Uh I wouldn't say it's too much better than before because I don't think I made it that much higher but it's much better okay it's much better than before already and uh, don't expect your noise that is applied to be super beautiful or super uh super high res because as i've done the test with you before we need to go what four million points to be really good and there's always a limitation of the poly counts and where we want to balance this thing so do as best as you can but uh, don't try to 
don't try to push too hard for a miracle or something like it's it's just normal that uh, we, we can't get the best of both worlds sometimes we need to limit our body count we need to do the best we can and uh, we need to see what what we can do what tools we have to bring this to completion we'll use it as best as we can so so i guess the what the alpha is doing is is also pushing the whole textile a little bit inwards so it really looks like a cloth and then uh, you know actually i like some of this so maybe i don't need to to totally destroy everything to bring everything back to smooth you know maybe i can just leave a little bit like this and uh, it's, it will actually be fine i think so in this case i'm just showing you an, an example that uh, that is probably fine and i still have the bottom part so not sure i want to deal with that um probably just a good idea to just show you that some 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 errors that would happen is normal you know that I, you just have to deal with it and uh, that there's limitations to the, what the surface noise can do but it's already so powerful guys it's already so powerful don't forget you still have number eight brush you can apply all kinds of textures you can apply all kinds of crazy things like we can do so much with these combinations of alphas, combinations of textures, combinations of hotkeys from number one to number six, literally insane combinations in ZBrush that uh, what we will be able to achieve, guys. So yeah, so I put some butterfly textures. I'm not sure why I do that, but um, I think it's it feels kind of part of the ornaments. So I wouldn't say it's totally out of place. It's actually quite a good touch if you were to if i were to really give myself this credit uh this critic i mean like uh, yeah so it's actually not looking too bad so yeah so just showing you the different uses of the alpha scale as well as a combination with number eight brush as well as combination with surface uh moth target brush moth brush very very cool stuff All right i think we are done with this shoe at this point and uh, I'll talk to you again if I see anything else. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.